Hi guys, I've come back to do one more picture in this beautiful book and it's fine color by Googly and I'm going to do this one here since I have one picture under my belt I'm going to try to do this one. This one has been staring at me for a while now and I want to get it started so I'm going to get the watercolors out and um, we will start on her skin so I'll get the camera down a little bit further Okay, so here we go. I've got the camera down a little bit and um, I'm using the Holbein um, Transparent Art um, Watercolors. It's a set of 18. Can't really tell you much else about them. I do have um, them all laid out in the palette and um, I'm just going to mix kind of a skin color here like I did in my last video. And we're just going to hopefully lay it down on a nice thin coat here. Kind of watered down and just blend it around. Now, um, there are these beads that come down on here and I'm not going to worry about them. I'm going to paint right over them just for the uh, fact that I probably will go in with a gel pen or something to um, lighten them up or color them in with. I'm just running that kind of into her hair. So I don't have to worry about it too much. And her back here will probably need a little bit darker uh, tone because it's in the shadow and I just picked up a little extra brown and stuck it in there. what is in her neck and what isn't her neck here. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. Okay, there's a line here and I'm going to think that is her neck in there somewhere. Okay. Kind of liking the watercolor, but there's that it has to dry phase. <laughs> I'm not used to the um, ink tents dry quicker, but these are fun to play with. So I thought I would just go ahead and do another picture today. Okay, we'll let that portion dry and we'll see what else I can do. I think I'll do the um, picture frame down here. Do, 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 do. So I have to move the camera and get a better look at it. I have two tones of brown, a dark brown and a lighter brown. So what I'll do is put those both on the palette. And see what we can get here. That's another fun thing about watercolor. So you're really not sure what you're gonna get when you put it down because it comes out darker. The water has a tendency to move wherever it wants to go with the color, which is kind of fun. And I don't have every color under the sun, so I have to kind of mix some, which is another fun part. <laughs> and that is really dark. I got way too much water on that. So 
so there we go as we put that in then I'll go back in with some of the darker that I mixed here which almost looks black <laughs> maybe I should remix sorry maybe I should remix that my neighbor is out having a fun time with his truck it's really annoying so it's a nice warm sunny day which is kind of nice I'm just going to add some dots in here and see where it goes kind of do it in the corners where it naturally would be darker see if it'll flow in there and then if I see a knot in the wood I could stick it down on that too like right there <laughs> and we'll see how that works so one painted frame okay okay we're gonna add a little more color up into her cheek area here and I'm just adding a little bit of a peach color uh, a pink into the peach color is what I should say gonna throw it in around her like jaw area here up here in her forehead around her eye and then I just blend it in with water so I don't have a rough edge Now, um, like I said in my other video, I am not uh, trained or anything on watercolor. Okay, I'm just doing what I think looks okay. So, while you're following this tutorial, if it looks good to you, you can do the same thing. If it doesn't, you know, you can probably find someone who actually knows what they're doing. gonna let that dry we have flowers and she has a I believe this is a mirror and then she has these little tassels and depending on what color I'm gonna make her um, dress here oh that's another thing I didn't turn on the lights but I do that sorry we'll turn on some lights so you can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing great start for a video isn't it <laughs> okay I'm going to uh, make the tassels down here on her outfit um, said a red I like the dark red so I'm gonna add some of that onto my palette and a lot of water and we'll see how that does on these we'll add a little more plain water down here and let most of the water sit up at the top if I can get it to sit up there and how many of these tassels do I have? Looks like I have the four and then a couple down here. So while I have the color out in my palette, I have to do all of them. take some of this up so that's just pure water and dragging it 
up on the um, so it's like picking up the paint just another thing I really like about the watercolor you can do that <laughs> You can also get it to move after you've put it down. Unlike um, ink tents, where I can't do that. <laughs> so if we don't like that line, we just move it around a little bit. Okay. Now we have these little um, buds of flowers down here. We have a little baby bird. We have another um, tassel -y thing with another bird here. And we have a butterfly up there. So what I'm going to do is try to make a pink. So we'll take some of the um, lighter red that I have and we're going to add in some of the a white and we're going to try to make that a nice soft pink color for these little buds so that's the color it ended up making and I'm just going to put a little of that in each one of these and little flower buds here Maybe the petals too, I don't know. Just gonna add it in. Let it soak in a little bit, then I'll go back in and take some of that out. There. Okay, I just wiped off the brush. Then I'm gonna go in and Take out some of this color. So all I'm doing is uh, dipping it in the water again, just plain water, moving that paint around. And then if I want some more transparency, I'll just wipe some of that up. How are all of you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. There, those look pretty good. Oh, kind of missed a hole bud there, didn't I? <laughs> Let's see if there are any more little petals falling down. There's one over here. start on these um, big flowers up here with the same color and we'll lay down this 
some of the pink in it. That's a lot of water. Sorry, I'm not making any noise here. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add some of that in these flowers on the back side too. So they kind of go all the way down. that dry. I'm going to work on her hair since her skin is almost dry. And I'm going to make it um, kind of a dark brown hair. So we just mix up the dark browns that I have. and put it in. It's probably a comb in her hair there that I just painted right over. from the flowers as much as I can. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of um, black into that same brown I was using. And then I'll make it darker. Lay that down into the dark shadow areas. Kind of basically all over because I don't care for the light light color I have there. <laughs> Want to make it darker. Yeah, 
and then just add some water, plain water, in the highlight spots. To mix those together a little bit better. And let that dry. Okay. Now our frame, see it lightened up quite a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some more of the darker brown in the areas where it needs to be darker and we will see what that does. So basically in the corners here. That's way too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't have a clue what color I'm going to do here on top yet. Probably do it purple or blue or something. Blue might be a good idea. I have kind of a, a light blue here. Put a lot of water in it and we'll see what we get. <laughs> we'll do the um, decorative piece that comes down. Use that brown there as a shadow. It's a little bit thicker, not so diluted color there. that dry and see what that does. Don't want it on our skin. Okay, well we'll be back in a little bit after all of this dries. Pretty dry and what I'm going to do is this little, um, I don't know, fan, magnifying glass, screen. <laughs> I don't know what the circle thing is, but we're going to uh, do the outside in kind of a brownish tone and then um, bring some shadowing down into the main area where the butterfly is. And like I said, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to pretend it's like a um, a fan or something that she's holding or a screen of some sort. Just give it a shadow up at the top, bring your real light down, and be done with whatever that is. <laughs> if anybody knows, please leave it in the description box below in the comment section, and then I'll kind of have an idea. Now, what I'm going to do is let um, this be what we've done today. And in part uh, two, I will come back um, probably with some pencils in the flowers. We'll do the corner pieces and um, the beading that comes down. I think we'll either do that in gel pen or a Posca. I also have to do this branch. Thanks. So while I have the brown out, we'll just kind of... 
go over that real quick and get some brown in there. I'll probably go over that with um, a pencil. Unless it dries really cool. And we would want to put some depth in these little flowers too. So find out what they do when they dry up a little bit. I'm going to do the birds in, um, I have gold uh, watercolor paints. So I'm going to do those in that probably. And add some sparkle on the page. But that'll be in part two. So thank you guys for watching and following me on my little watercoloring journey here. <laughs> I will see you in part two. Guys, take care and have a great day. Bye now. Well, we're all dry, so I mixed up um, kind of a dark green. And I thought I'd do her um, outfit in the green. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm going to start up here. This is really watered down, so in case I don't like it, I can <laughs> get rid of it. Okay. I picked it because of the blue I put in here. I thought it would go nice. So we're just going to go over the entire thing. It really has no draping to it other than around her neck. So I'm just kind of going to put in the color and then fade it out. Try not to get into the pink flowers. You can get into these because I think some of these might be leaves, so we'll just add a little bit of the green in there. Pink and green go good together. So do the green and the blue, so win-win, right? <laughs> Hopefully. And we'll add some of the green in on this side. Just like that. Then just wash it down in here. And then we'll put some behind the um, picture frame too. Make it look like the uh, material is behind there since the branch comes out. there. Let it do whatever it wants to do. A little dark up here in the corner. See what that does. If it'll stay or not, who knows. And we'll add a little bit of it um, down here in the leaves too to dab it in. And see what it does. Get some pink in there just to blend the two together a little better. Your water picking up some of that. Okay. And now that's got to dry. So 
So we will work a little bit more. Just going to add some of that dark green up at that corner. Down at that corner and see what it does. Okay, her hair. We have to work on that a little bit more. So we're going to add a little more of the um, darker brown in here. And kind of let it sit there. We're going to add a little something to her ear here. It needs a little um, a darkness on the inside of it. What else? <laughs> a little down here in the shadow of her back too. I don't know if I'm on camera for that one. Be back in a minute. 